In 1989, Roger Penrose, one of the most respected theoretical physicists, published a groundbreaking book that would challenge our understanding of the mind, intelligence and the very nature of consciousness. The book is called The Emperor's New Mind, and in it Penrose makes a bold claim that consciousness cannot be explained by computers or algorithms alone. Today, we'll explore the key ideas presented in Penrose's book and see how his theories intersect with physics, mathematics and the mysteries of the mind. At the heart of the Emperor's new mind is one central question. What is consciousness? What makes us self-aware, capable of thought, reasoning and creativity? Despite advances in neuroscience, consciousness remains a mystery. Most modern theories assume that the brain, much like a computer, processes information through algorithms and that our conscious experience arises from this processing, but Penrose disagrees. Penrose argues that the mind is not just a computer. In fact, he believes that no matter how advanced, a computer will never truly replicate human consciousness. This brings us to Penrose's bold claim. The human mind has capabilities that go beyond the reach of classical computation. Penrose starts by examining the nature of computation itself. Today's computers process information using algorithms, precise rules that allow them to compute results based on given inputs. But Penrose argues that there are fundamental limits to what computers can do. To explain this, he draws upon Godel's incompleteness theorem. Godel's theorem shows that any formal mathematical system, such as the ones used by computers, is inherently limited. There are true statements in mathematics that cannot be proven within the system itself. Penrose suggests that the human mind can grasp these unprovable truths, implying that our consciousness is not governed by the same computational rules as a machine. In Penrose's view, the mind is capable of a level of understanding that transcends algorithmic calculation, a type of insight or intuition that computers lack. This suggests that human consciousness is not just a result of mechanical algorithmic processes, but involves something more profound. The physics of consciousness. Penrose takes his argument even further by bringing in physics. He suggests that the processes that give rise to consciousness may be rooted in quantum mechanics, the strange and non-intuitive field of physics that governs the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. Penrose proposes that quantum processes, the behavior of particles like electrons and photons, might play a key role in the workings of the brain, particularly in the structures known as microtubules, which are tiny tube-like structures within brain cells. According to Penrose, these microtubules might harbor quantum effects that are crucial for consciousness. However, this is not just any quantum process. Penrose introduces the idea of objective reduction. He proposes that quantum events within the brain might lead to spontaneous collapses of the quantum wave function, an event that is not governed by the typical laws of physics but is instead a result of gravity's influence on quantum states. Objective reduction, or OR, is Penrose's theory of how quantum superpositions collapse. In classical quantum mechanics, a superposition is when a particle exists in multiple states simultaneously. But when we observe or measure the particle, the superposition collapses into a single state. Penrose believes this collapse is driven by the fundamental nature of space-time and gravity. Penrose argues that gravity is what causes the collapse of the quantum wave function. When a quantum system reaches a certain level of complexity, the influence of gravity on the system forces it to reduce into one definite state creating what we experience as a conscious event. This collapse, which he believes is tied to the fabric of the universe, is far from a computational process. It's deeply rooted in the laws of physics. Penrose doesn't stop at consciousness. He takes issue with the idea that machines could ever achieve true human-like intelligence. He critiques the idea of artificial intelligence as something that could simply be programmed to think like humans. 
He argues that human thought is not reducible to computation, and no matter how advanced the algorithms, a computer cannot replicate the conscious experience. Penrose posits that understanding and creativity are not simply products of algorithmic processing. While a machine can simulate thinking by following rules, it cannot truly replicate the conscious insight or self-awareness that humans possess. The mind, Penrose argues, is a deeply complex non-computational process that cannot be reduced to mere data processing. Despite the intrigue surrounding Penrose's theories, they have not been without criticism. Many in the scientific community have debated the feasibility and implications of his ideas. Some argue that his theories lack empirical evidence and rely too heavily on speculative concepts. Others believe that Penrose's approach might be overlooking simpler explanations for consciousness. The controversies continue to fuel an ongoing dialogue in the quest to understand the human mind. Penrose's ideas have been met with both awe and skepticism. Critics have raised questions about his quantum brain theory, suggesting that the brain is too warm and noisy to support delicate quantum processes. Others argue that objective reduction might not be the key to understanding consciousness at all. Despite these criticisms, Penrose's theories have sparked serious conversations about the limits of artificial intelligence and the nature of human consciousness. His argument that consciousness involves something beyond computation challenges us to think in radically new ways about the mind, physics and the potential for AI. In conclusion, The Emperor's New Mind is not just a book about physics, it's a philosophical exploration of the mind, consciousness, and the limits of computation. Penrose's work invites us to reconsider what it means to be conscious, to think, and to be self-aware. His theories challenge both the realms of science and philosophy, urging us to look beyond what we currently know. Penrose's work remains a foundational text in the debate on AI and consciousness, suggesting that there may be mysteries about the mind that no machine, no matter how powerful, will ever solve. The journey into understanding consciousness is far from over, but with thinkers like Penrose, we are certainly making progress. Penrose's work remains a foundational text in the debate on AI and consciousness, suggesting that there may be mysteries about the mind that no machine, no matter how powerful, will ever solve. The journey into understanding consciousness is far from over, but with thinkers like Penrose, we are certainly making progress. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. Until next time, keep questioning and keep exploring.